All right, welcome back. It is movie time. The 32nd Chicago Latino Film Festival has kicked off. And we begin with a preview of some of the movies you'll have to choose from. Joining us to explain is Alejandro Riera with the film festival. Always nice to have Always you. Always nice to be here I again. get to see it's you once a year. And once a year. It. Well, unless we're doing Festival Cubano, then it's twice a year. Ah. ah. I like how you think, mister. <laughs> right, I'm already so. pitching. <laughs> You're part of it. Um, okay, so this is the 32nd year in a yes. row that you've been doing the Latino Film Festival. Anything different this year? What Although we got a couple of things that are brand new. We have a couple of, well, we have one big tribute to Cartemkin mm -hmm. Films. Okay. And we'll be talking a little bit about the film later on, so that's big for us. We we also are starting a new discount day for people who love movies and don't go okay. out to the movies on the weekdays. We're calling it Cine Martes. So everybody, regardless of membership, age, status, mm -hmm. can go. hair color, And can Cine go. Martes means Movie Tuesday. Uh, Movie Tuesday, but the idea right. was to play with the word of cinema okay. and artes and martes. So ah, we were, we're like working okay. with three different words in Spanish there. And everybody can get in for $10. So if you have absolutely nothing to do on Tuesdays, Cine Martes, 10 bucks, save, it's a $3 savings from the general ticket price. I'm telling you, I'm going to pitch, baby. He's good at plugging stuff. See yeah. That? See that? All right. Um, so let's get to some of these movies because you've got, what, over 70 feature over films? Over 70 I feature think. films. We got over 40 shorts. It's a total, I think, of 116 films wow. overall. Wow. Which is just amazing. Yeah, it is. I, you know, it was a great year for, let's, let's, I, we, we got to give it a little bit of context. 2015 was a great year for Latin American cinema. You know, you had films earning the mayor awards at the, at the main uh, festivals. At the Academy like, Awards, yeah. Well, Academy Awards, but before that, you had the Cannes Film Festival. I mean, some significant Latino films won uh, awards at the Cannes Film Festival, and we, we have one of those at the festival this year. Berlin, they almost took over Berlin last year, and they almost did the same thing this year at Berlin. Uh, Venice, you know, there was a Latino film called From Afar that we're bringing to the festival this year that became the first Latin American film mm -hmm. to ever won the Golden Latin Award, which is the maximum award at Venice. So Latin American cinema is really living one of its best moments right now. And what I'm happy is that in a way this festival reflects that great moment that that, that cinema is going through. I like it, Alejandro. Okay, let's get to the first clip and then you'll talk about it. All right, it's let's see what Mangore? it is. Mangore? Is Mangore. Is the story okay, the accent on the E. With an accent on the E. It's the story of this uh, renowned Paraguayan guitarist and composer. He wrote over 400 classical pieces. Uh, very colorful guy. Kind of a character. But kind of a character. Let's take a you know, quick let's look Let's take here. a quick look at that. It's quite a character. The film sort of... Let's see. Is it coming? Is it coming? Is it, is it coming? coming? Is it coming? There we go. De la música o para la so música. Me gustaría vivir de mi guitarra sin. All right, so there you saw a little clip of it. Yes. Uh, and so the film kind of follows his life, It right? follows his life, but it does it in a very idiosyncratic manner. So mm -hmm. it pretty much jumps around time and space. At one moment, you see the young Mangore. At another moment, you see the, the child Mangore, then the adult Mangore. And the film tries to, in this play of time and space, capture that very idiosyncratic mm -hmm. character of his. Uh, it features Damien Alcázar, the great Mexican actor. We actually have three films of his this year at the festival. That's one of them. Uh, Damien Alcázar plays the elder Mangore, uh, okay. very dynamic actor. The other two films we have of his are Magallanes from Peru. We're bringing back Magallanes after he played a successful run at the International Film Festival last oh. year. So it's getting a second shot here in Chicago at our festival. And then we're playing another film of his in which he plays a minor role called the Sergeant Matacho, which is about the early days of the FALN. Okay. Uh, next on the list, which I think it's going to be one of my favorites. I've already said I, I want to go watch this. It's called In, in the, the Game. Game, and it is actually based of a story here in Chicago. So let's take a quick look at that, and then I will let you talk. Oh, I had three jobs. It's really hard. I know I have what Ladies, it takes to hear you in get there, myself out of in wherever room. I am. One, two, three, two. All right, so it is called In the Game, and these are the girls' soccer uh, team from, team Kelly, from High Kelly High School, right? Yes, and I mentioned earlier on about the Kartemkin. They're celebrating their 50th anniversary, Kartemkin Films, which is like a pivotal, not to say the pivotal documentary production company in the United States based out of Chicago. We decided to join in the celebration with the special showing of In the Game, a locally produced. It's a story about how this mo this all girls soccer team in Kelly High School tries to overcome all of these barriers, economic, social, cultural, mm -hmm. uh, to do what they love to do, which is play soccer. Mm -hmm. And it's a very moving festival. It, I think it secured some distribution recently. I can't recall the name of the distribution company, but it's a way for us to say thanks to Kartenkin for 50 years of documenting the lives of so many people, so many people like, yeah. not only in Chicago but across the country. 
Oh, these girls are wonderful. I only had a chance to look at the trailer, and I want to. It's April nineteenth. April nineteenth. We're going to be showing. We're going to be showing. So we're going to be showing it at the AMC, and it, the screening will be followed by a discussion between our director Pepe Vargas, the film's director, yeah. and Gordon Quinn, founder of Cartem Quinn Films. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's going to be great. Those girls, they look wonderful. That trailer. I, I yes. give it a thumbs up already. Yeah. And I haven't even seen it. <laughs> All right. Next up, Sing Hijos. Sing Hijos. Look at that. Mira qué aburridos estarán, que hay algunos que se comen a los papás. ¿Y cómo se van a comer a los papás? Bueno, se comen, pero no de malos. Para ellos son como un huevo frito. All right, there you see a bumper cards. Yes, right? yes. Sin hijos. Closing I can guess film. what this is about. <laughs> What's this one about? Well, this one about, okay, so this is our closing night film, April 21st at the Chicago History Museum. Tickets okay. are available still. Okay. Uh, it's Ariel Winograd's fourth film. Ariel Winograd is an Argentinian filmmaker, specializes in some wonderful comedies. We've, this is the fourth film of his and the fourth film of his we've had at the festival. It stars Diego Peretti as this divorced father who's been taking care of his nine-year-old daughter since they got divorced. He's obsessed over her. He takes care of her. He, he pretty much... He lives for her until he meets this woman, former oh, schoolmate we're of his. always causing trouble, aren't played we? Played by Maribel Verdu from yeah. Itumama Tambien. And it turns out that this woman doesn't like kids. So the father tries everything in the world to hide the fact that he's a dad. Oh. And the comedy is that sort of like, you know, comedy of errors kind of thing. And then the girl finds out, mm -hmm. the daughter finds out, and then she gets into the game by pretending to be somebody else. Okay. And gotcha. it's a wonderful. Ariel Winograd has a wonderful sense of timing, of rhythm. He reminds a lot of critics of a combination of between Billy Wilder and Woody Allen. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've seen some of his comedies in the past. And he's a delightful writer, a delightful all these director. Movies, they're all subtitled. They're right? all subtitled, okay. absolutely. Yes, unfortunately. This one, because it hasn't been released in the United States yet, we are getting a subtitle copy, but all the trailers are in Spanish. I was like racking my head trying to find one. <laughs> so you'll get to see Sin Hijos in Chicago, only in Chicago with subtitles. Okay. Don't miss it. All right. And so is it only showing on opening night? Oh, no, closing night. Closing, closing night, night, April 21st at the Chicago okay. History Museum. Of all places, folks, the Chicago Ooh. History Museum. Isn't all that right. a cool place to have a closing very night? Very cool. Very cool. April 21st. I'll have to write that down. Yes. All right. Um, what else are you doing? Because I know you try to do these discussions after yes. the films, which is very important. You've got opening night, got closing night. We do the Q we every single film or as many of the films as possible. We invite the filmmakers to hold Q and A sessions with the public. Mm -hmm. So that's a requisite in our festival. We have to have that dialogue with the filmmakers. We have okay. to have that dialogue between audience and filmmakers. The other thing we're doing, we're doing a world premiere of a film called Rotas Broken, which is based on a flamenco choreography that Ooh. received its North American premiere right here in Chicago in a project headed by the Ensemble Español. The director and creator of that choreography actually built a drama around it to make it much more filmic. And we're having the world premiere Look of that right here in guys. Chicago on the 20th, the it's day before Sing Hijos. important stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, we're important. <laughs> All right, Alejandro, let me put the information up on All the right. screen if you're interested in the 32nd Chicago Latino Film Festival, April 8th through the 21st, latinoculturalcenter.org. You can get tickets there, 312-431-1330. And next on Adelante Chicago.